think I got my swagger back. Oh, oh. It was a glorious series between the Astros and the Twins. Astros Twitter was up all night and day showing all the receipts and all the national media hate and all the quotes from Los Correa. You better not call him Carlos. His name is Los from now on. Give that man some respect. Give this team some respect. On to Oakland. Cue the intro. <laughs> What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to a brand new episode of The Lead. Your host, as always, Harley Dugan. And well, 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 the Astros put up a great series against the Minnesota Twins. 2-0 sweep, just like I predicted. Look at all those comments. Look at everyone. Those Minnesota Twins fans, could you could really tell those Twins fans were watching my video after we swept their sorry asses right out of target field it was disgusting they looked uncomposed they looked young they looked frazzled they looked like they shouldn't even been there all they talked about was their runners in scoring position and batting average it was 280 they couldn't even get a hit with runners in scoring position the home runs there were six in baseball and home runs they didn't even hit a single home run. The Minnesota Twins, and I quote, I was not too worried about them, unquote. That's what I said in my video. It's exactly what happened. Minnesota Twins, whatever. They're just a shit team, honestly. They need a new manager or new players. They need to do something to revamp that organization. On to Oakland. Oakland is going to be the next series matchup for the Houston Astros in we shouldn't be worried, but there's not. this isn't a team to take lightly. This is a team that sees you every year. They're a divisional team. They're 7-3 and three against you this year. They have the fourth best ERA, team ERA, okay, including starters and bullpen. And they got one of the best bullpens in baseball, if not the best bullpen in baseball, first in ERA for bullpen-wise for the Oakland A's. They got Mark Canna. Marcus Simeon, Chapman, Olsen, Chris Davis, always seems like he hits a home run against us. With all that being said, you should not doubt this Houston Astros team. It's because we're back. The playoffs are here. The Astros are in the playoffs, and you shouldn't doubt this team. If you doubt this team, then you need to be mentally checked if you're a Houston fan. I understand other people. I understand the haters. I understand all the critics, all the disrespect we get. I understand it. They all believe that we cheated in 2017 and that it led to 1819. Well, even though the report didn't say we cheated in 1819, but I digress. The Houston Astros have been disrespected all year, disrespected all off season. We've been everyone's meme, everyone's joke, and everyone's little trash can, pun intended, because of what we did in 17. But we're gonna put that away this year because when it gets to the nitty gritty, when it gets the nut cutting time, when it gets the butt clenching time, the Houston Astros know how to respond better than anyone. They know veteran baseball. They know experienced baseball. They know what to do. And the biggest stat that we're gonna see, the A's and the Astros is gonna be starting pitchers. Quality starts. Quality starts is when a pitcher can pitch six or more innings, giving up at least three earned runs or less. The Oakland A's with that fourth best ERA in baseball, team ERA, zero quality starts. And that includes Chris Bassett. That includes him. Houston Astros, third in quality starts. Yet we're the team that don't got no offense. Yet, we're the team that don't got no pitching. We're the team that's getting bashed on every single day by national media. Y'all heard what Correa said. They don't want us here. We know they don't want us here. But what did the players tell Dusty? Get us to the playoffs, and we're going to show you how we play ball. Get us to the playoffs is the key word. Just get us to the playoffs. That's all that matters. Because once we get there, we're going to show everyone 
how we rock things here in Houston. Let's go Astros. We're gonna get a 3-1 series win over the Oakland A's. You're gonna have Granky in the first, in the second game, excuse me. Lance McCullers will pitch the first game. Granky in the second game. Third game, you're gonna have either your Queedy or Valdez, or Valdez and your Queedy for the game threes and game four. They're gonna be either or. Tip of the cap though for Dusty Baker. He really did a really good job on piggybacking in the first series and the three game series. Smart. Having Valdez and Javier coming out of the bullpen, absolutely smart. Tip of the cap for him. He, that was an extremely, extremely intelligent move by Dusty. And then game five, the reason Lance pitches game one is so you can have him back for game five on at least a three days rest. So, with all that accumulating, 3-1, series win, the Astros take care of the Oakland A's. They take care of business. They, kick, they take care of that rat. They take care of all the national media hate as they go on to the ALCS where they will face the New York Yankees. Yep, they're going to face the Yankees. That's what I'm predicting. The baseball gods intend that an Astros-Yankees matchup has to happen. So that's it for today's video, guys. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Hit that bell for the notice to come on. As I'm going to be dropping game-by-game -game videos. So after game one, I'll drop a video. Game two, another one. Game three, another one. So on and so forth. But like I said, series prediction is Astros 3, A's 1. We take care of that rat. We take care of Ramon Laureano. We take care of all that unfinished business. All the stuff they're talking so good about the A's, ESPN, the national media, they don't want us there. You heard what Correa said. We will beat the Oakland A's 3-1, stomp a mud hole in them, and the Astros are going to look better than ever as they go into the ALCS facing the New York Yankees. The baseball gods have intended it that we face the Yankees in the ALCS, and I am all up for it. I cannot wait for some ALCS matchup, but stay focused with the A's, take care of business, and finish it off. As always, guys, go Astros, go Rockets, go Texans. Y'all have a blessed day.